Good morning, all, and uh, good afternoon, somebody, and a good evening. Yeah, I will come back once again. Yeah, okay. Hope you can see my my screen now. SAP screen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So good. And this is a friend one now. Okay. Ours is two seven. And zero. Okay, my business partner is one. Okay, without that, you know, just I said, like we can run it quickly because we don't have much many documents. So you can always see this one. Okay. So the document number, all these things. We just don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Here I got a problem with I, I couldn't find any document number. Yeah, this is the step. Yeah, don't worry, we can fix it. Okay, we yeah. need to check that some certain uh, things. Okay, yeah, we can check last. Okay, the, what, yes, no worries. Yeah. Is this one, okay? yeah, so this is what we have seen last time the delivery is distributed and. Um, what we have seen, this is the header. This is the header side, where you can see that what is the document number. That means a number, that is a warehouse task number, okay? We call it a warehouse task number or, or document number, warehouse number, or we can say inbound delivery number, okay? We can also just be discussed like, you know, how system is picking categories, document category, document type, okay? Um, because we are not set up anything, right? We are not set up any document category, document type. Because since we use a best practice system, system automatically picks for uh, these things, PDA, INB, all these things. And um, warehouse number on the supply chain, we, this is a, we put a just for checking proper ASN, okay? That is the advanced shipping notification. And if it's any door related, it comes and, you know, or any transport or uh, in quote terms. In quote terms, it's like, you know, um, what are the, whether supplier is going to take care of the payments of the transport of the goods or, or um, whether the customer is going to take care of uh, uh, paying of the goods, I mean, transport of the goods and which look in quote terms to location. That's where it comes from the, um, from the customer, from the supplier, it comes all the in quote terms, okay, we are in quote terms. And you can see goods receipt, unloading, these are the status at the header level. This is the header information. When you see header information, these are the document category, document type. How document category, document type is identifying AWM system. How our inbound delivery in S4 system is a directly distributed to the AWM system. And what are the, what are the uh, like, you know, mapping this one? Okay, is there any mapping in a S4 system or AWM documents, okay? Whether is there any mapping of the documents between the S4 and the AWM system. Then only the system understand that if whatever delivery you created in the S4 system, okay, how AWM understand the delivery. That means you should always see there since though is embedded, but we are working with the two S4 system and AWM system. So everything, the mapping is required between the two systems. How you can map S4 document document category, document types in a S4 system, how we can map document category, document type in AWM system. So that's where we need to see that, how we can map it documents, such a way that my deliveries is distributed from S4 to AWM system. We look about, just take the word called today is a document category, document type, okay? Document category means it gives you what kind of delivery it is, whether it is inbound delivery, whether it is outbound delivery, or posting changes or, or some other one, okay? Under document, document category is the very highest level hierarchy under, under the document type, inbound delivery. So whether it, it the in, INB, you can always, is a manufacturing guard or like, you know, the, whether it is a customer returns or like a, anything in that matter, okay? So document type, document categories inbound delivery, but document types, it varies. You can Typical what kind of documents we have inbound delivery. We receive the, the, the majority from the suppliers. Okay, we use the directly in INB as the inbound delivery. Or we can, if you want, you can change your, that, your own name also. That is always possible. 
when you're copying the best practices when there is inside, there are a lot of things are there. Some profiles you have to maintain. They need to copy for that. Only name, you need to change it. We'll see that further going, how we can change it. So today, document category, document type, you need to understand that how this, this document document types are mapped to the S4 system as a document category, document type. Okay. Let's see, again, is the, we can see even item level. Okay. Once you header level, this is the item level. Okay. I'm, I change it, switch form to back to this one. This is the header. And we have item level also. Here also we can change from switch form, switch to form view. Form view, it gives more information uh, like this. Okay. You can always see what are the, uh, this number 10 means is uh, like you know, whenever you create a, some uh, some material, something, this item is a 10 to a, like that, you know, depends if it's the number of materials. If I have one more product, then it comes at 20, item 20, item. So the it increase, the number increases 10 times, like, you know, every 10 for a, okay. If I have a 10 deliveries, then you can say item 10, item 20, item 30, item 40, item 50, 60, 100, like that. Okay, the product. This is item 20. And the, what is the product? And the description of the product. And you can see that how many quantity, what is the unit of measure, okay? And what is the pack status, whether it is a packed, okay, goods status, goods receipt status, unloading status, put away status. And overall, warehouse activity status, overall activity this one, okay? So under delivery, they were delivery related. If, if you have done it from the purchase order level, or at the um, material uh, customer level, like whether is the under deliveries are accepted or over deliveries are accepted. Okay, so you can see warehouse process type. So, the, but is a very is a tough to see like this. Instead, we can switch the form view, and here also you need to see that. Okay, sir, then select that. <clears throat> okay, select this one. Switch to the form view. So we can see that what is the product, what is the quantity. Okay. And is there any description? And also you can see batch, anything batch related or something if you have batch, okay, batch management one. If it is a serialized one, we can see serialized information here, okay? And expiration days or something, any information, you know? This information is a, is, is a populated from the purchase order and the inbound delivery, it comes here, okay? See, is not, we are not going to feed any information externally here. Everything, whatever inbound delivery we created in a S4 system, all the information is a distributed EWM as the inbound delivery. The data it populates here. Okay, nothing. We are not going to add any information here. Okay, so this is a uh, more on first is the product information. You can see product information. Okay, next one is the moment data. What do you mean by moment data? Just terminology. See, moment data. Moment data means. Whenever you receive certain deliveries, okay, system will understand some kind of moment data. Okay, what kind of movement data? So as you said, we inbound delivery. So inbound delivery to understand and to receive as an inbound delivery here. So there is a process type is required, warehouse process type. Moment, the name itself, moment means you are moving something. That means some goods you recepted. So to determine the delivery, how we can determine the delivery through the warehouse process type. Okay, how warehouse process type determined? How do you know that this this warehouse process type, some process type? Okay. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So anything when you receive the something, when you deliver to um, whether it is inbound deliveries, whether it is outbound deliveries or whether it is a internal process, any uh, changes or anything. No matter it is what kind of delivery it is, system always find one warehouse process type to recognize what kind of delivery it is. Okay, so based how its system is determined warehouse process type, it is determined based on the, okay, document category and document type. Okay, document category, document type, and with respect to your warehouse, okay? Please note that WPT is a, is a moment, okay? Is a moment system will say that whether it is inbound delivery, whether you are receiving, and also you can you can fine tune everything, inbound delivery, vendor return delivery or anything. You can always see based on the document type, but every document document type, 
for every line item of the product, movement type, warehouse process type is there. Okay, for every line item of the product, when you receive, when okay, when you receive something, the warehouse process type is the is a key. It it plays a key role. Okay, to move the products. Okay, this is this is the main warehouse process type. Okay, so like this system will say how you set up this warehouse process type. So you can set up warehouse process type for inbound delivery or like, you know, so for customer returns or a, a manufacturing order or so on. So similarly for outbound delivery also, you can set up different warehouse process type. Within outbound delivery, you can set up different warehouse process type, standard deliveries, rush deliveries. Within standard and out, we can say import, um, um, export orders or domestic orders. So like that, you know, everything, you